Okay, so in the next segment, I'm going to talk about cases. The cases, as we all know, have been in steep decline over the past weeks. Now, I know certain areas like Brazil and India are unfortunately getting in huge intakes of cases. And I, again, I do feel sorry for those who got infected or passed away from this. I do not wish this virus on anybody. This, this virus, literally, I have hate written across my teeth with this damn virus. Like, even hate thinks, oh, wow, that guy really does hate it. <laughs> but it's like, really? This virus ruined last year and it ruined, well, half this year. Now, don't get me wrong. 2021 is better than last year. I have to give it that. But... As I said to many other people uh, in my life that this, realistically speaking, it'll be a better year than last year, but it will not meet our expectations if you get my drift. You get three paths. You get the pessimistic, the realistic, and optimistic. The pessimistic is the worst thing you can think of. Realistic is balanced. Optimistic, you're overly proud of it. Now, I don't want to say that I'm overly proud of everything that's been going on because I'm trying to see stuff in a balanced manner. And don't get me wrong, please, I love this pandemic to end more than just as much as anybody else, maybe more, who knows, I, I don't know, but I don't care, the point is, this pandemic has been going on, and it needs to die, now, the cases have been dropping, which is a great thing, the active cases, I should mind you, and also, that's the other thing I have to address, when people say total cases, they usually think that total many people are currently infected, that is not entirely true, you have total cases, yes, but that factors in everything, including infected and dead. So that means if you are in the middle of a pandemic, the total cases factor everyone that has been not only infected, but they also died or recovered. Now, the active cases are the biggest concern you have to worry about. Now, yes, again, I, I'm sorry for all those who have suffered. But I'm just, I'm just stating facts here, real actual facts. So pay attention. Now, the virus itself has been very elusive in causing many active cases throughout the month's time. Luckily, things are seeing improvement. The cases, the active cases are dropping because more people are getting vaccinated the mask mandate was slightly extended, but has been lenient um, as of yesterday when, Bi when Joe Biden made that announcement. Now, for those of you who are outside the U.S., I'm sure things, you know, aren't going too bad for you. If it is, I'm sorry. I, I wish you guys well. And I hope you guys get out of whatever outbreak you're going through. Um, India and Brazil, for example. Um, I hope you guys get well. Now, here's the thing. The virus itself is running out of room. What I mean by running out of room means not only the active cases are going down, but the more people that are getting vaccinated are seeing a huge drop in susceptibility or if that's a word i don't care well it is now because i just said it now they're less susceptible of getting this virus or at least getting hospitalized or dying which is a huge thing yes if you get it you may get sick but you'll have a better immune system against it because you updated it using the vaccine doses now, I don't want to get into details about the vaccine and conspiracy or something about, oh, uh, what are you, why, are you contributing to them now? 
or something like that, like Big Brother's watching you, enough of that. There's no conspiracy theories here, okay? What matters is this pandemic dying. I don't want to hear crap about that in the comments. I want to hear some good stuff here and factual stuff too, okay? If you're negative, get the hell out of the video, okay? I don't have enough time for you. Now, the point is, is that People need to learn that this pandemic has a lot more factors in it than just simple total cases. There's the active cases, which are the biggest concern you have to face. Thankfully, they're going down, which I'd like to see. And I'm sure many of you do as well. Now, we can get through this. It's possible. But judging from my analysis and all the research that I am conducting, I personally feel, and I could be wrong, please don't hold me to this, okay? Don't cut my throat later on, all right? Because this is only a theory. I'm theorizing. Now, I think the pandemic could die out by August 1st at this rate. It's very possible because a lot of countries, they're getting their vaccines and the virus is running out of room in said countries. Even the variants are struggling. That means with the variants fading into obscurity or at least fading to the sidelines along with the COVID-19, Things will go back to normal. However, in the future issues that could come, possibly years from now, we have to learn that we can't let this happen again. We cannot let this pandemic spread like it did. And I appreciate all the things that people have done so far. I wish you all the best. I know this is unconventional, but this is just another talk, okay? But please, for the love of God, don't hear only what you want to hear. Hear what is right. Hear what is factual. This is the truth that I'm giving to you. Please. We can do this together. We can get this pandemic just on its way. We can send it away from us. Help us so that we can help you. Now, thanks for tuning in. I know this wasn't, it's a weird video and you probably heard me rant a bit, but that's because people need to learn they need to focus on this pandemic. It is not, not, N-O-T, a political issue. It's a health issue. There's a huge difference between politics and health. So, please, if you guys can't address that, if you don't understand that, then there's nothing I can do for you, okay? Okay. I'm not you. I don't understand what you are thinking right now. I understand me. And I understand the situation that's going around in the world. It is not good. This virus is not a hoax for people who still think it is. It's nothing like that. Get it together and we can beat this virus. Just please... Enough with the tension. Enough. We have enough crap going on, including this virus. So, things are getting better. I hope it continues that way, and I wish everyone well. I feel very sorry for those who are suffering. I really am. I don't know why this had to happen, but unfortunately it did. And now we have to live with it. 
All because of the spread that was influenced by some bad decision making and terrible preparedness. Now, I wish you all well. And please stay safe out there. Please. Please, please, please stay safe. And if you are staying safe, good for you. If you're not, well, I don't know how else I can help you. This is not meant to force people. It's to warn them. And to inform them. Educate them. Give them better answers so that it might, might, just might, help them. Just might. But just please don't, don't cause arguments. Don't fight with people. Don't fight with policies. Just listen to the guidelines. Sit down. Educate yourself for just five minutes. That's all it takes. Just, just take a moment. Step back. Think of what's really going on around you. Address that we are in an issue still. And things will get better. I promise. It should get better. There's nothing but good coming our way right now. In this pandemic. Well, I guess I said my piece. Now, stay safe. Have a good day. Gold out.